Welcome back to my channel. Today our topics of troubleshoot control valve problem solution. In this video we will learn how to troubleshoot the control valve. Mention different problems and solutions of control valves in industries. The problems in oil and gas, refining, fertilizer, chloralkali, pulp and paper plants, ETC, are different and peculiar to each process. In the valve, the body and the internal organs, called trim, are those that suffer the consequences of the circulation of the fluid with which it is in contact, at the pressure and process temperature, giving rise to problems of corrosion whereby abrasion, cavitation, noise, and vibrations. How to troubleshoot control valve? Grouping the most typical situations we can have, the trim is the heart of the valve. If the trim fails, everything fails. It is important to take care in the sizing and the correct selection of the type of trim, taking into account the characteristics of the fluid and the nature of the spill, but also the plug seat cage stem materials that will define its resistance and durability as the reliability of control over time. Failures in internal organs, they are the most important. Fluid circulation can produce corrosive attacks, abrasion wear, cavitation wear, vaporization flash. Sometimes several at the same time. Loss of tightness, internal, between shutter and seat, and external. Aerodynamic noise and associated vibrations. External aggressions of the environment in the plant. Other causes specification failures during engineering. Calculation and selection errors. Problems derived from the assembly and design of pipes, from the startup, etc. Inadequate maintenance in the first interventions. Internal faults. The control valve is the only element of the control loop that acts on the fluid, throttling its passage, causing pressure loss to be able to vary the flow, in response to the command signal from the distributed control system. As per the data analysis, the valve occupies the most time, and approximately 45% to 50% are due to problems in the body, and more specifically in the trim. The rest is distributed between actuator, positioner, and accessories. These data must be interpreted as general, they can vary greatly depending on the process plant, nature of the fluids, operating conditions, operating regime, etc. Corrosion chemical corrosion that attacks the entire surface of the metal and appears on all surfaces in contact with the fluid, although there may be areas of the valve, body cover, affected in various ways by the effect of speed and or turbulence. Its appearance is that of a cavernous, rough, or pitted surface. Chemical corrosion is more difficult to avoid when dealing with a mixture of fluids. It also attacks transition zones between two materials, as is the case with welds, both in the manufacture of the valve and in its connection to the pipes, when they are for welded connections. Pitting corrosion, typical of stainless steels in the presence of chlorides. Galvanic corrosion when we have two materials of different potential. In some applications, such as oxygen gas, equipotential bonding is used. Solutions For the body cover and trim, steels resistant to the fluids to be controlled will be used. 
normally the body cover will be of a material similar in composition to the material of the pipe. Materials against corrosion In the first place, the corrosion can affect the body cover trim if the materials have not been chosen well. It is a difficult phenomenon to deal with in some cases since small deviations in composition, liquid, temperatures, speed, etc. modify their aggressiveness. During the material selection process, all possible types of corrosion must be evaluated, since in each process or type of plant some corrosive phenomena will appear more than others. Abrasion The phenomenon of abrasion should not be confused with the wear produced in the event of cavitation or flashing. The abrasive effect of the impacts and the response of the materials is different. In some applications, there may be wear produced only by the effect of a high speed and it almost always materializes in the shutter and seat, although in some cases it affects the body depending on the design and direction of circulation. Speed is an important factor to watch. Small variations in speed can produce very different wear. Precautions The angle of attack is also known to influence wear. The hardness of the materials. The design of the body must be straight, as short as possible. Avoiding internal turbulence, also angular bodies with fluid tend to close. The layout of the pipes without elbows or reductions, the mounting position, etc. Abrasion by particles Particulate abrasion is difficult to avoid as we cannot change the nature of the fluid. Its aggressiveness depends on the number of suspended particles, their size, and their hardness. Small particles, but in a higher percentage in the fluid, can produce more wear than larger particles in a lower percentage. Hard steels are recommended in the trim. Stainless steel type 316, monalke, stellite, cobalt chromium alloy, carbide, alumina, and ceramics. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like and subscribe.